let's be honest weaves are everywhere and it's so normal you know to see black women wearing another woman's hair i mean there was even a church sermon dedicated to wearing weaves all of you be carrying natural hair about who, who natural hair help okay better, better wear your wig i'm doing like this I'm flipping it, go and spend that money on hair. Where does this weave come from? You know how we get that hair? When nothing goes right in the life of a Hindu person, they shave their head clean. They used to bend that hair because they understood that bending all the bed luck until they realized the stupid African women wants to put it on their head. So you buy your own bed luck and you put it on your head. Is it true that some human hair weaves are from dead people? So you know what, let's go back to the beginning where it all started, you know. So in 1951, you see, Christina Jenkins, she came up with the idea of attaching hair to a net, you know, that was then sewn on the client's Conroe base and that is how Weave was born, you see. Fast forward to today, there are thousands of Weave companies, you know, who benefit from the 10 billion dollar revenue made by selling weave while sadly exploiting two types of women you know on the one side there's the woman who sells her hair with the goal of putting food on the table and on the other side there's the woman who buy the hair who they don't even know where is it that the hair is coming from who for many years have been brainwashed to believe that the way god made them isn't perfect you know so for us to understand how this woman are being exploited we have to go and look at how is it that human hair is being collected and harvested because not all human hair is collected the right way first of all we're gonna look at the right way that human hair gets collected women from china brazil peru just to name a few country you know they grow their hair with the goal of selling the hair they want to help put food on the table you see but you know the problem comes when this type of woman get approached by the wrong people you know people that are just gonna exploit them you know people who are gonna give them close to nothing for their hair let's be honest a woman's hair you know is her crown so there was a woman who got fifteen dollars you guys fifteen dollars for her waist length hair let's be honest fifteen dollars isn't enough to put a whole month of grocery on the table you see her hair will be sold for around 500 or 750 us dollars you see meanwhile the woman got close to nothing for her hair you see that is totally wrong you know like Another way hair can be collected is through hair donations. You know, people cut their hair with the goal of, you know, donating their hair to cancer patients. This other way is, you know, like when um, white or Asian women, they go to the salon and they get a haircut, you see? That is another way hair gets collected for weaves. So let's move on to the wrong way to collect hair. That way is totally unethical and questionable. We have to look at human hair being stolen. So a few years ago, many women were targeted for their hair, you guys. Women with long hair were targeted by thieves. They were held at gunpoint or knife point while their hair was forcefully cut off, you see. And then those thieves go and sell that hair to hair vendors you see so yeah that's another way how hair gets collected you see but let's be honest that's wrong that's totally wrong because there's big money involved some people will go to the extent of stealing hair from a dead person yeah so you never know not all hair human hair is from a dead person just some so the one thing that blew my while doing the research, I found out that Africans with dreadlocks have been targeted for their hair. Because, let's be honest, dreadlocks takes years to grow out. So, 
this thieves oh my word you guys the other thing that blew my mind was that this thieves you won't believe from which country where they were from south africa because this is something that happened during 2020 you know which was shocking because that's a, that's an africa that i'm familiar with is where they would steal expensive weave you know from a woman's head yes that i know because that was a situation that happened all around the world not only in south africa ah! guys somebody just snatched my wig off my head he's got in the way let me show. he's just right after that car i'm trying to get him oh my god and this thieves made a lot of money you guys i'm telling you for shoulder length dreadlocks they made around 23 and 58 dollars you see and for longer dreadlocks 230 dollars so i converted it to rent the currency that i'm very familiar with and 230 dollars that's about 4114 and 17 cents so I get now why women were targeted for the hair because there's big money involved but the thing is that's wrong imagine putting a woman to death holding her at gunpoint or knife point for her hair for her hair why that's wrong you know that's totally wrong so we're gonna now look at you see where does fake human hair come from because there are some hair that hair vendors will tell you this is human hair but is it really human hair you see so human hair you know let's say that hair is unhygienic because of where the hair comes from think about it human hair is found on you see those hair that sheds you see yeah it's dead hair that's found on salon floor salon brushes and drinks you see and then dead hair gets mixed with synthetic hair and also animal hair yes don't worry i'm gonna show you like pictures from articles so that you can see that i'm not making it up so now we're gonna move on to part two part two there we're gonna look at you know indian hair many you know like people especially christian who wear that type of hair you know should like really go and look into it you see and we're also gonna look at the word of god you see what it says about that every single year you know the hindu temples they capitalize on a hair shaving ceremony that's called tonsure if you know you from india and you're seeing this please just let me know if i'm spelling this correctly but anyway that ceremony is called tonsure you see so that ceremony you see is where you know Many Indians, they go to the temple, the hair gets shaved. And the reason why the hair gets shaved, you know, is because they want to get fortune. They, they shave their hair for good luck. They shave their hair for good health, you see. Yeah. So basically, their hair is a sacrifice. That sacrifice hair, that hair gets sacrificed onto their god. You see so in the past the indian temples they did burn that hair away but then you know they saw a gap in the market they filled that gap they saw many women want you know this type of hair so let's sell it and we're gonna make money out of it you see and that money is for like charitable causes you see for example accommodation education medicine for many in the community but you know we have to ask ourselves is that hair really going there you see but you know like for me the problem with this hair is that think about it this is hair that is being offered to you know hindu gods you see as an offering as an exchange that hair is like an exchange for something you see maybe for example i saw an article one woman said she's going to shave her head off because her husband's drinking is is like drinking to, to the extreme now you see and another woman said that they are at a point where they are going to get evicted out of the house that is one of the reasons she went to go and shave her head you see so imagine now you are wearing that weave you won't understand why you all of a sudden 
have bringing problems so for those who watched you know um tlc you know darcy and stacy you see there was this clip where they went to go and they went to the salon you see and got new hair extensions and then they were like basically praying over the weave i was like what are these two up to so i just, just want to say bless it and you know this hair is lord god love us honor us yeah. and cherish us with this hair yeah. only good things come from this hair we usually have a ritual we do with our hair because we want to make sure that the energy from the new extensions are pure and you know not holding on to any negativity from whoever had it before us we rebuke any evil energy once we attach it to our head now i get why is it that Darcy and Stacy did that? It's because of, you know, the spirit in that weave. You don't know what, what is the reason why this person cut the hair. Now you are busy wearing the hair. You see? So yeah, think about it. So you know what? Let's look at Bible scriptures. The first scripture that we are going to be looking at is in from Deuteronomy 7 verse 25 to 26. And I'm reading from the easy to read version, you see. And it says, you must throw the statues of the gods in the fire and burn them. them. You must not want to keep the silver or the gold that is on those statues for yourself. It will be like a trap to you. It will ruin your life. The Lord your God hates those idols. So as you as you can see here on the first part, it says you must throw the statues of the gods into the fire and burn them, you see. So this, you know, wigs, you see, that are made from hair that comes from um, a Hindu woman who went to go and sacrifice her hair to her God, you see. That is like a sacrifice offered unto a Hindu god, you see. That hair was supposed to be burned away, you know, because of, you know, like, the, you know, the reason why the person cut the hair. The second scripture that we're going to look at is in Acts 15 verse 29. So we're going to read the first verse and the last verse. And it says, Do not eat the food that has been given to idols. If you stay away from this, you will do well, you see. So, see the scripture as, you know, don't keep things, you know, that has been given to idols. You see, I know the scripture talks about food, but think about it. Food that has been given to idols, that's most like in place of, as an offering. That food is an offering to the gods, you see. So, the weave hair is an offering offered to hindu gods you see so the scripture says don't it has been given to idols if you stay away from this you will do well you see so anything that has been given to idols don't keep it don't take it and you will do well and then the last scripture that i want us to go and look at is in first corinthians 10 verse 14 to 21 you see like listen carefully here from verse 18 and think about the people of israel do when they eat the sacrifice they are united by sharing what was offered onto the altar you see this sacrifice that has been given to hindu gods when you are you know taking it for yourself you are taking it you're putting it on your head you are basically sharing what was offered on the altar you see oh am i the only one seeing this you see so i am saying that sacrifices to idols are the same as those jewish sacrifice no because an idol is nothing and the things offered to idols are worth nothing but i am saying that when food is sacrificed to idols it is an offering to demons not to god and i don't want you to share anything with demons you cannot drink the cup of the lord and then go drink a cup that honors demons you cannot share a meal at the lord's table and then go share a meal that honors demons you know so let's just also just read you know verse 22 do what would make the lord doing what would make the, the lord jealous do you really want to do that? 
do you think we are stronger than he is you see so let's be honest hey you know from a wind woman who she offered to you know her god you see in the first place shouldn't even be on christian's head because it's like a hindu woman you know she worship a way different god you know then you know the god that we worship which is the heavenly father you see so doing things you know that make god jealous you know isn't the right thing to do with that sometimes we just have to like before you buy things you know pray about it is this like the right purchase you see is it something that sh- that a christian can wear is it right you know because sometimes we follow you know the society and forget that you know we are not from this world you know we are born from the word of god when we got born again so which means we have to live by the word of god and not by you know the standards of this life you see if you're still watching the video right now please like the video let me know what is it that you think about you know i've ever seen everything that i said in this video starting from you know the way you know we've we've has collected the right way and the wrong way and also you know indian hair what is your opinion on indian hair and you guys please like this video because if you you watch this video this why it means that you really like the video and also don't forget to subscribe because many of you are watching but you don't subscribe but you keep coming back so it's a sign that you have to subscribe and it would really mean a lot to me it will you know like make me see that you guys are enjoying videos like this so that i can push out more you know videos like this